like at present. How would you characterize yourself? Uh, what? What besides uh, besides the president of the United States? Uh, I'm a will a, a leader. Well, a symbol. I'm a uh, let's let's uh uh figurehead. Uh, was a uh, a public facade. Uh, yeah. A viceroy. <laughs> uh, what's it? A viceroy. <laughs> a viceroy. <laughs> you. Who me? Oh, I'd prefer uh, Grand Chancellor or Geppetto. What a prick. Uh, I, I'm a team player. I am too. I was noticing that your uh, public speaking has uh, improved recently. Uh, there's, uh, there's something, something magic that happens when you step on the stage and the cameras roll and uh, you're no longer speaking the words that uh, someone wrote for you to uh, speak, uh, uh, but your own words. And, and when it's really magic, uh, you, you believe it. Uh, he's a bit touched. <laughs> Just what kind of democracy is the United States proposing for the world? Uh, democracy, to me, means that after trivial debates, uh, which use vague language and buzzwords, the public votes for one of two parties that uh, basically hold the same globalism, pro-corporate policies. Compassionate conservatives or muscular liberals? Uh, of course, these days you also have the option of voting for an inept celebrity. <clears throat> Excuse me. Democracy is supporting or ignoring petty dictators and brutal regimes who are pro-American, and then anyone who's not pro-American will just dominate them. It's uh, good combating evil in its uh, crusade to convert the heathens of other political structures to, uh, to capitalism for their own good. We finally got Iraq. Do you have any idea how long we've wanted to control that patch of sand? We are going to give the Middle East a major facelift. Uh, I think uh, perpetual retaliations uh, for both sides will keep us in office for a while. Uh, keep things moving. I grieve for the losses of September 11th, I do, but it was the best thing that could have happened for our administration's agenda. What do you feel the uh, current sentiment is that's defining America's future? Uh, what, was, what was that? Uh, it was a, a, a zeitgeist. I, 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 I believe it, I would call it uh, patriotism. Uh, nationalism. Imperialism. Christian fundamentalism. McCarthyism. Uh, sure, we're spending a lot of money, uh, but it's uh, all under control and uh, part of a greater vision of our American future. Uh, our wars and rebuilding efforts combined with enormous tax cuts are uh, all part of our continuing effort to bankrupt the federal government. For what? Why bankrupt the federal government? Well, because uh, then our only option will be privatization of government services. Uh, imagine uh, Pepsi National Park or uh, Medicare by Walmart. Uh, it's the perfection of the corporate state, uh, profits for all. Uh, all, of course, being a relative term. Well, look, uh, distraction and misdirection are the keys to any successful administration. Orange alert, blue alert, chartreuse alert. You should see the amount of pink triangle bullshit civil liberties you're able to knock out of the books when wars are being fought. Patriot Act. These are great times. 
If we affect little of public life, apathy and cynicism will take care of the rest. It's irrational for the public to oppose or even devote much attention to the affairs of the government. Uh, we keep the media on a tight leash. The media knows enough not to ask difficult questions in a press conference. Not only are you not going to get your answer, but we just won't call on you again. Then, if you call for a statement, we won't call you back until after your deadline. You just don't fuck with us. This is not an issue of politics. This is about rocking the boat. Making waves. Spin. Smoke screen. Smoke screen for what? Uh, like what? Well, our clandestine wars, for one thing. Soft targets. Uh, our sponsorship of terrorist states. <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> my, my father once told me a, uh, a funny story about uh, supporting the Iraqis war and uh, their use of uh, chemical weapons against Iran while uh, at the same time uh, selling uh, Iran arms to, uh, to fight Iraq. And, uh, and the money from those uh, sales went to uh, fund the Contras. And uh, <laughs> I forget the punchline, but uh, I, believe it was, uh, I believe it was something about South Central Los Angeles and uh, crack cocaine. <laughs> The question was, where do we go from here? It's an open road. The actions we're taking now will reverberate throughout history, in America and throughout the world. We're like the Romans, bringing enlightenment and culture to the world. People throughout time have cherished their gifts, and now it's our turn to forge forward into the annals of history, into greatness. Shit. <laughs> I believe that the future holds part of our past and uh, this nation will will run like a like a duck or I'm sorry could you raise the card up I uh, it's fun uh, hiding out all the time moving from one secret location to another it uh, it feels like a covert operation uh, even when you're just eating corn dogs and watching golden girls I know I promoted uh, the bogus uh, British reports about Saddam to reinforce the case of the war, and that was. Uh, excuse me, Mr. President. What's that? It's Niger and one G. <laughs> well, well, you can take the take the boy out of Texas. <laughs> <laughs>